Hey y'all, welcome back to Life More Abundantly with Chauncey. As always, I pray that you are doing well. I wanted to come on here just to share a word of encouragement with someone who it just feels like you've been trying to make things happen for yourself and nothing seems to be falling into place. I've been seeing the number seven for quite some time now and all the more today, I've seen it like several times. And at first I just assumed, okay, God is completing something or something has been completed. But when I got home, I needed to just kind of de-stress from the day and just, just spend some time with God. And so I opened up the Bible and I was led to the book of Leviticus chapter 25 and it's titled, the Sabbath year. And right then I knew that God was connecting the number seven with the Sabbath, which resembles rest. Okay. And immediately the Holy Spirit just began to speak to my spirit. So Leviticus chapter 25 verses one through four, it says, while Moses was on Mount Sinai, the Lord said to him, give the following instructions to the people of Israel. When you have entered the land, I am giving you the land itself must observe a Sabbath rest before the Lord every seventh year. For six years you may plant your fields and prune your vineyards and harvest your crops but during the seventh year the land must have a sabbath year of complete rest it is the lord's sabbath do not plant your fields or prune your vineyards during that year with these scriptures in particular god is saying the promised land itself must rest okay the promised land must rest a portion of that is reflecting to you that you are the promised land like you are a part of that promised land you are someone else's promised land and in particular i feel kingdom marriage like you are the promised land that has been promised to your future husband or your future wife and god is commanding you he's commanding the promised land to rest okay there is a specific reason why god is telling you to rest because you have toiled for so long you have labored for so long you have endured for so long and god is saying you need to rest okay stop trying to make things happen okay that's my job that's not yours so no more excess strain or stress when you do that, you're putting all that weight and all that wear and tear on the land. And then the land can't fully flourish in the promise. Okay. God is telling you to rest. Some have already entered into the promised land and some are about to enter into the land. Okay. So God is saying rest. He's really been stressing to me rest. Verse number four, I want to go back to it where it says, but during the seventh year, the land must have a Sabbath year of complete rest. God is saying that this is the year, this is the season, this is the hour of rest, okay? No work will need to be done by you. Stop striving to make things happen, okay? This is what the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. He said, I, the Lord, will do it for you as you rest, okay? As you rest, I will make it happen. As you rest, I will do it. As you rest, I will open doors. As you rest, I will bring the opportunities to you, okay? I will bring the promotions to you. I will bring the events to you, the engagements. I will bring it to you, but I need you to rest. You don't have to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. God is saying, your job is to take shelter in me. Your job is to be at peace. Your job is to to relax and your job is to obey my command to be at peace and to be at rest. I will bring forth the harvest. I will recommend your name. I will bring forth the promotion. I will make the kingdom marriage happen, but you need to rest. Again, God is saying, as you rest, I'm going to make it happen. You don't need to do no more work. You've done enough. You don't need to labor anymore. You've done enough. I will bring it to you. Stop trying to make it happen. Enjoy and receive the gift of rest. There are many that are working for something that God is saying, if you would just stop and rest, I'm going to hand it over to you. But you're so anxious. You're so used to working that when God tells you, my God, this is a word for myself, that when God tells us to stop and rest, we don't know how to because we're so used to trying to make things happen. And many, I feel this in my spirit. God is saying many of us have taken on a hustle and a grind mindset. And what I mean by that is you're willing to do anything and everything to get what you want. But God is saying, if you would just stop, I can do it for you in a shorter amount of time. I can make it happen for you without all the labor. Now that's not saying be lazy because when God tells you to work, work. But when God tells you to rest, rest.
Whoever this word was for, I felt it so strong. And I was only five verses deep in this chapter. And the Holy Spirit was just impressing on me to release it. And I was like, Lord, let me gather a little bit more information. But God is saying, somebody needs to hear this. You need to receive the gift of rest, okay? This is your hour, your season, your year to just rest. It's going to happen because God has promised it to you. The door is only going to unlock when you obey God's command to rest. What does rest look like? Sometimes it can mean a physical rest. You're not getting enough sleep. You're not taking care of your body. You're up all night. Sometimes it can mean just literally just sitting in the presence of God, journaling. Sometimes it can mean taking a vacation, getting away from the noise. But whatever that rest looks like, again, your rest could be different from someone else's. So take this word back to God and God will let you know how to rest in him. He will let you know. But whoever it is for, I pray that you are encouraged by it. I pray that you are set free from the mindset of trying to make it happen because God is going to make it happen for you. I want to share this testimony with you, how God was calling me into rest and I was still trying to make things happen for myself. I had been looking for a job because God had released me to go back into quote unquote, the, the corporate world to start working, still doing ministry, but to start working. I had been looking for a job for several months, putting in several applications, didn't get interviews until maybe until last month. And every interview, it was just, it didn't sit well in my spirit or the hours in work or the pay wasn't where I needed to be. And I was just coming up on a deadline. I was like, God, I got bills to pay. I got to take care of this. I got to take care of that. Like, and I was stressing and I was worried and I felt fear and doubt and all these things trying to creep in all the while I'm encouraging everybody else because that's what God was commanding me to do. Even in the midst of what I was dealing with, even in the midst of the unknown, God was still commanding me, Chancia, because you love me, I need you to feed my sheep. And so I had been doing that, but I was looking for a job and could not find one for several months. But nonetheless, God still managed to put food on our table, to pay our bills, to keep a roof over our head and everything else. We did not lack or want of anything. God was constantly sending resources and people our way to bless us out of nowhere. Nothing but God. But lo and behold, out of nowhere, I'm going to put the screenshot in the video so you can literally see how God works when you obey the command to rest. I had a dream on August 27th, just recently. And when I woke up, I wrote down the dream. I always write down my dreams, the time that God gave it to me, and then any revelation that he may speak in that moment. But the dream was, I had applied for something similar to like a job or some kind of application. And I had been getting declined for whatever I was applying for, right? And out of nowhere, an approval came through from an application, a person or a business that I did not even know. And catch this, I did not even reach out to them, which means that they reached out to me. They looked me up. They found me. And in this screenshot, you can see the timestamp. It only says August 30th um, at 4.49 p.m. because I went back into edit but the original date and time is august 27th of 2023 this year at 8 16 a.m i kid you not after i had that dream on the same day less than three hours later this company out of nowhere sends me an email stating that they would like to speak to me because they were intrigued by my experience at my last company Y'all, I was blown away. And so I replied and let them know that I was interested, definitely looking for a job. And so I had a call with the, the head boss and everything went well. Went in for the in-person interview, everything went well. And then they told me that they were still interviewing for the position and I would hear back, you know, within like two or three days. And so as those two or three days went by, here I was still worrying, Cause I'm like, Lord, like this job is a good location. It's not too far from the house. Like they're willing to pay what I ask, like the hours. And literally it's like, when I tell you this job is literally more than what I prayed for. I literally mean it's more than what I prayed for. That's how I know that it's God. God had already told me and revealed to me in the dream that this was sent by him. And Holy Spirit just brought this back to my mind as well. I remember on August 15th at 7.05 p.m., I was sitting on the couch and I heard these four words. God spoke to me so clearly out of nowhere. And he just said, the job is 
yours. Y'all, I cannot make this stuff up. God is good. And so long story short, y'all, while I was in the middle of another breakthrough, that's a whole nother video. God did this thing. While I was in the middle of another breakthrough, I get a missed call from this company. I call them back. They tell me that they were blown away by my presence in the interview. Literally, this is nothing but the Holy Spirit. They were blown away by my presence, not by my responses to the questions, not by my resume. They were blown away by my presence. Somebody needs to know that the aura that you carry, the fragrance that you carry is so potent. It's speaks volume because you carry the spirit of God. Okay. A lot of the things that God is sending to his children, many of the things, several of the things that God is sending to his children, you will know that it is God because you will not have to go looking for it. It will come to find you. It will search you out. It will Google you out, okay, it's looking for you. The promises, the open doors, the opportunities that God has for you is looking for you. That's why he's saying, stop looking. Stop looking. You're wearing yourself out. You're stressing yourself. You're having headaches. Your appetite is off. You're losing sleep. Your hair is falling out. Stop looking for it. There's a reason I won't let you find it because I need you to position yourself in me and just rest. Once, oh Jesus, I feel this for somebody. God is saying, as soon as you obey my command to rest, the opportunities are coming. The open doors are flying open. Ooh, the emails are coming. The calls are coming. But I need you to position yourself and rest. Y'all, I cannot make this stuff up. When I tell you God wants to blow your mind, he wants to do it. Let him do it. Because he didn't blow my mind with this. Like, he didn't blow my mind with this. I don't know who this word is for, but be encouraged. Glory to the most high God. Glory to the most high God for what he has done in my life, what he is doing. Like this job is absolutely incredible. The hours I want, the pay I want, just literally everything, literally everything. God wants to do the same and some for you. Child, just rest, okay? Rest and receive your rewards because this is the season to receive everything that you have sacrificed everything that you have lost along the way, God is about to replenish it with interest. If you would just let him just rest. It is so worth it. I'm a witness. I love you with the love of the Lord. I pray that this encourages you and strengthens your faith to hold on to God's unchanging hand. And again, to just simply rest. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.